Uh, today, we want to bring you on. You've got some amazing things going on, as always. Like, you always have some amazing, amazing things going on, some great things helping other people. And that's like a key factor to what we love to have up here people that help others. And you are the epitome of that. Aww. You're being really nice. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Am I normally not nice? I thought I was always nice. <laughs> you, you know, you are You are actually a very nice person. So, Thank you. yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. All right. This is what we're going to do because you are a friend of the show. You've been a friend of the show. We did radio together before. Yeah. Let's go ahead and give you the biggest intro ever. Are you ready for that? <laughs> I am so ready. I'm scared. Uh, no, no, don't be scared. You know, don't be scared. We love our folks up here. So let's go ahead and give you the biggest intro ever. All right. Dr. Nicole LeBeach is an award winning, best selling author. This advocate and results driven professional has been helping people reach the best versions of themselves for years. You did it with me. So I know she's been on stage, radio and television, sharing her expertise with Steve Harvey, Tom Joyner, T.D. Jakes and featured on networks like TV One and Oprah's own her own fully produced event. International Slumber Party made a worldwide impact. I was blessed to be a part of that. So let me hit the hype button for the uh, super slumber party of it. You do. We definitely go be talking about that today. All right, here's where it gets sticky. You can't just find this stuff online, all right? Right, right. <laughs> Our member of the Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated is also a founding member of the Professional Organization of Women. She's the official inventor of the Seven Second Kiss. Thank you for that. <laughs> she knows the three sequels that will help every black woman win in love and in money. Dr. Nicole is the only woman who can get men in Atlanta uh, to act right and put a ring on it. <laughs> She's protecting peace, uplifting the masses, saving relationships, oh, and looking fabulous all while doing it. Dr. Nicole LaBeach is live on the reshow. What? That was the bomb introduction you were not lying that was pretty cool i appreciate that so let's go ahead and get into this interview you got some amazing things going on one of those things is your experience you were on the show put a ring on it a couple of my friends were on that show and i saw they found some love in places that uh you normally wouldn't so i wanted to ask you about how was your experience on that show um so you know put a ring on it is is doing very well we are in our second season um hoping for a third and many more after that um it's on the own network on friday nights at 10 o'clock mm. and it really is about long-term couples who are trying to decide whether or not to move towards marriage or to go their separate ways and one of the ways we find out is through them dating other people so it's, it's, it's very interesting and I'm having an amazing time. <laughs> we are too watching it because, you, you know, you got these couples that are kind of in relationship limbo or purgatory and then you throw somebody else in the mix. And sometimes you realize it's not green on the other side. And then sometimes you realize, hey, maybe I need to just cut this grass and get to walking a little bit. Listen, you know, I, I always say is your grass watered, right? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times we are looking to jump the fence or look over the fence and it looks greener until you jump on the other side and you figure out it's weeds that you're standing in. And if you just cut your own grass and water your own grass and nurture that, um, you'd really have an opportunity to build something special. So, yeah, the show is quite an amazing opportunity at this point and bringing about a lot of conversation in our community. That's for sure. Absolutely. You locked in with Reshow Live. Shout out to Potty Ali and the game. We have Dr. Nicole LaBeach right here. And shout out my co-host, Bevy, too. Uh, she is talking about her, her run. I'll put a ring on it. What was one relationship or experience on the show that kind of shocked or surprised you? I know it was a lot of moments like that, but can you pinpoint one and just kind of share with us a little bit? You know, the funny thing is, because I've been doing this for so long, Reese nothing shocks me anymore as a matter of fact I just walk in holding the space for whatever this relationship is going to be mm -hmm. and how they want to move towards future because mm -hmm. often you know if you come in as a blank slate then you don't judge anybody you don't have to feel like you have to solve or fix anything really I'm just holding the space for people to show in their actions what they really want, especially when they're saying one thing and doing something different. So you just said, 
You say you come in like a blank slate. I've heard so many people saying they don't want to go to a counselor or a relationship person or professional like yourself because they feel like they may be prejudged or they've already heard this before and they're just going to give me a cookie cutter uh, answer. You know what is so special about our community? And, you know, I love our people. Mm -hmm. We are the ones that prejudge what it's going to be like. And we've never been to a therapist. We've never been to coaching. We, we come in in the conversation prejudging it. And most of the time, if folks would just try it, they'll recognize, oh, I'm the one that had all the hangups about what it couldn't do, what it wasn't going to be, mm-hmm. what they were going to tell me that I already knew. And when I actually tried it, I found out, oh, wow, I was the one with all the preconceived notions. I, like, I actually like what I'm hearing and what I'm getting from the situation. Yeah, but you got to try it first, yeah. right? They make up a lot of stories before they even get there. Right. You might not. This might be the best meal you ever had, but you won't come to the restaurant. Honey, you better <laughs> say that three more times. Let me hit the hype button for you being the, the, the Phil Jackson of relationship coaching. I like it. <laughs> oh boy, that, now, that's a tall order. That is a tall order. Hey, you, you can feel that order. I've seen you in action. Um, I'm going to ask one more question about this, because after being there, what is like one common thing? that keeps people from, from, you know, tying and out or getting to the next level of that relationship? Communication. Mm. That's the big thing. You know, I, people laugh because they, they say often, Reese, that I ask the tough questions. Mm. You know, I'll ask a couple, have you met each other? And they'll laugh. They'll be like, what, what you mean by that? Is that a true question? I'm like, no, it's actually an authentic question. Mm-hmm. I know you've been together for three years, but, but let's call it what it is. Have you really met each other? Mm. Have you authentically shown up, spoken what's true for you, and shown the person who you really are? Because that's when the good work can begin. And in communication, you find that a lot of people are just not sharing what's true for them. And then over time, it becomes a problem. I get that. How do you open that door up? You know... When you really are looking to not play games, but to build a life, Mm -hmm. you recognize, I don't want you falling in love with my persona. (laughs) The fake me. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? I want to know when you fall in love, you fall in love with me, with the ponytail, without the ponytail, when I'm having a good day, when I'm not having a good day. And then I can really show you who I am so we can be connected and ride this out together. So that's what opens it up. What's your vision? What's your vision for a relationship in the future? Because that helps you decide how you're going to show up. That makes so so much sense to me. I'm glad you showed up today. Let me hit this hype bell again for you. I'm glad Dr. Nicole showed up today. Let's talk about your endeavor with helping women and people around the world with this international worldwide slumber party. Let's talk about that. I know- last time but we got new people listening so how did this come about you know my business partner and i my wonder twin crystal khalil in the middle of the pandemic we were like we have got to do something to support our young younger selves and our girls around the world and we decided to come together to create what is now the world's largest slumber party the international slumber party brings young women of color together ages 18 to 25 years old to come together to celebrate their brilliance learn about business entrepreneurship professionalism leadership and then takes them forward to help in mentoring and offering internships and all of that so you were there last year and we just closed out another one with 70 countries represented. Ooh, hit that bell for that. Good God almighty. You get to get applause for that one too. 70 yeah. countries were on this. Actually, actually 60. I want to make sure that I say it right because I don't want to get in trouble. 60. <laughs> but right. when you were there last time, it was 39. Look at that growth. Let me, come on, growth. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's it's so amazing to see something where girls from Tanzania and Botswana and Morocco and, and Canada, Atlanta can come together and say, I see you. Mm-hmm. Why don't we do something together? You know, it's, it's really bringing access and excellence to these girls so that they can do amazing things. It's awesome. 
It is. I remember after the after the episode uh, you had me be a part of aired, I was getting followers from all over the country, just different. I mean, all over the world, just different people saying thank you so much for those words. And it was awesome what you guys were talking about and having such a great time. So I just wanted to give you your flowers and roses for you and your your, your wonder twin for coming up with such a wonderful event and, and spreading that knowledge. It, it's really needed. It's really needed. Thank you so much. And we appreciated you being there because, you know, we love the brothers. We love the brothers to come on in and share their experiences. And uh, you know, it's love is a is a community affair. We say that in our community, love is a community affair. So doing that for our girls, you'll always be on our good list. We appreciate you inviting us. Uh, right now, you tune in to the Reshow Live. Shout out to the game. Shout out to my co-host, Potty Ali, and of course, Bevy Stitch. We're talking to the beautiful and always evanescent Dr. Nicola Beach. Ask Dr. Nicole on Instagram. Make sure you follow her right now. And your name is Ask Dr. Nicole for a reason, because folks ask you those tough questions <laughs> as we're kind of getting into. Yeah, they do. <laughs> and I'm grateful. You know, our folks don't have to open up. Mm -hmm. So to have the type of favor that I have with men, brothers like yourself, that are real men grounded, taking care of business, and for them to say, Doc, you know what, you're fair, and whatever I ask, you always come to the table partnering and, and willing to help us find the answers that are going to bless our lives is, is just an amazing thing. I, I can't thank God enough for that, for real. Oh, we thank you for it, too, and for putting in the groundwork and keep going. And the consistency is definitely appreciated from our community. I do want to ask another question about the slumber party. Uh, with this one just passing, are people able to go back and check it out, or how does that work? Or we just got to get ready for next year? How do we do it? You know, we have something amazing called ISP Connects, and I would love to be able to come back and talk a little bit more about that because what we realized was you know, the International Slumber Party was an amazing event. It was a moment in time to get girls excited and get them connected. But what happens after? Where does the transformation take place? And ISP Connects is where we mentor, where we share information. They can have guided discussions and facilitated um, opportunities to really learn how to do certain things that they want to do. And, you know, I'll definitely share that information through Courtney, our publicist, so that you can share it with your audience on how the girls can get connected. But if they want to email us, info at Sister Diamonds, we'll give them a lot of information. And so will the International Slumber Party on Instagram. Okay, shout out. Let me hit this hype button for, for working year long. I love it. <laughs> like, yes. you're not busy enough already. Oh, my God. Jeez. For real. I need, I need a cocktail and a vacation there at the go. same time. Let's go ahead and talk about that because you're a person that helps other people, but how do you manage to keep yourself sane? You know, I got a lot of people in my life that helped me. I was telling a friend of mine, my oldest mentor is 25 years we've been in a relationship mm. she has been mentoring me for 25 years i just spoke to another mentor of mine yesterday mm. and he has been in my life for at least 20 years so it's it's connecting with people that can pour into you and they can see you and they can say now i know you've been doing this 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 and this but when was the last time you did this for you they can hold you accountable. They can pour into me, hold me accountable for self-care and ring the bell when they're like, some don't look right. You look like you need a nap. You need to go take one. And I say, okay, if you're, if you're ringing the bell, then I know I need to get back in line, recalibrate and make sure I'm, I'm, I'm full, you know? That's a good thing to have personal mechanics in your life. You need those people to say, because we don't have, a, you know, when you get in your car, you ride it too long, the little oil light pops on. Absolutely. We don't have that for ourselves, especially for people that are trying to help other people. So so they help you see your oil light, change that oil, you know, go get the tune up. Oh, yeah. And, mm -hmm. you know, they they are not about Dr. Nicole, which is always the best. <laughs> they, know, they know Nicole. They know me when I was just trying to figure out what to do in my life. So they look and they're very proud and, 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 you know, just excited for so many things that I've been doing, but they will come straight and be like, uh-uh, <laughs> how you doing? What's going on? And you have to have that accountability in your life. 
You yes, have to. absolutely. Absolutely. Shout out to those people in your life that, that keep you going because you keep so many others going. So thank you to them. Let me hit the hype button for them. I hit the hype button a lot when we got real good guests on. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, we have some questions from the internet. Some people, I told them I had you on. they like, oh my God, I love her information. Bevy actually shot me a question too. She wants to ask, so I'm going to ask on her behalf uh, before we get back to the main show. But I do want to ask you these uh, quick five questions. That's good with you? Yep, let's do it. All right, someone asks, how do you get over someone cheating if you choose to stay? Oh, that's work. Um, and it can be done. I literally have worked with couples who have been willing to put in the work. They've been willing to understand the damage that has been caused and attune, you know, work with each other to get through the healing process. So mm-hmm. what that doesn't look like is someone that's like, well, I told you the truth. So now, you know, well, what you want? That's not what it looks like. Right. It's really being able to say, there is some damage that has been done. Now, what are we trying to build moving forward? And how can I help you heal and feel secure in the future that we're trying to build until we are back at a really good place? It can absolutely happen. I've seen people do it, but what I will say is get some support because a lot of times when that happens, people prematurely throw the baby out with the bathwater because they don't have the tools to make it work after something like that happens. So get somebody to hook you up and help you in the process. I got you. So basically the first thing is a person who may be at fault. They need to atone. They need to acknowledge the hurt that they cause. And the second step is to call you. I got you. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I didn't say it quite like that, but I got you. I understand. (laughs) All right. Uh, someone asked, how do you stay in a relationship with someone that does not communicate? That's tough. Mm. That's really, really tough. And what I would say is you will have to learn because you don't want to build something on quicksand mm. and you have to communicate to commune with one another, to be connected. So if they don't know how The question is not the judgment of, hey, you suck at this. The question is, where are we going to get some tools Mm -hmm. so that we can build and nurture what's possible? Remember, it's not where you start, right? Yes. It's not where you start. It's how you finish and what you build while you're building. So you can't stay there. If you stay there, you are surely going to be in trouble as the years go on. You've got to finish figure out how to grow as you're going. I, I agree. I've been watching the Olympics and you see some of the, the athletes attract people, the, the folks that even the basketball team, they may start off shaky, but finish the game strong. And that's because you have people around you that are willing to know, hey, you're good at this. So you have the potential to do what you got to do. You just have to find out, you know, your, your, your leg while you're doing this race. And that's the same in relationships as you're saying. Yeah. And, you know, Reese, the unfortunate thing in our community, who teaches us how to do this? right? That's one of the things that I love about put a ring on it. People are seeing some for the first time. How do you move through conflict without killing each other? Mm. Like, how do you move through conflict without gutting each other like a fish? And then you're like, you want to go get something to eat? No. <laughs> no I, I'm not hungry. If I'm hungry, I don't want to eat with you. <laughs> My guts are all over the room, right? So the blessing is, you know, what my partner and I have done is come up with things like heart of the matter conversations. We have um, one of those that's happening on the 18th and the 19th of September to help folks get the tools. You you know, it's it's like Home Depot. It's not about when you're going to need a tool. It's it's about if you're going to have it when you need it. And in relationships, if you don't have no tools, good luck on that. And we don't learn that a lot of us have see divorce. We, we, we're we uh, basically products of households that didn't work. So what we saw was an argument or something happened or they're not getting along and then it's a split. So we think that's normal. Right. And that's not normal. Right. Uh, Anything that you're building that is going to be sustainable is going to take some work. And what we believe our community is willing to do the work 
but we often don't have the tools. Mm -hmm. So it's like telling someone, envision this beautiful home that you want, now build it, but you don't have a cement mixer, you don't have hammer the first. Right. How does that work? <laughs> right. 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 And then you're trying to build, like you said earlier, on quicksand. So some things have to you got to see those red flags early and some stuff isn't worth building. But when it is, you got to know, OK, let me go grab these tools. I like it. Absolutely. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just call you. We're we going to have to go and get this low sponsorship from you. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Uh-huh. Nicole is right here. We asked our quick five questions. I think we got to three so far. Let me get to this one. Some people are trying to start relationships, as you see. The summertime is winding down. It's about to be cool again. And one of the fellas asked, what's a respectable way to slide into somebody's DMs? Or is that even a, a really a thing that should be done in the first place? Listen, communicate with whatever access you have, but just come genuinely. You know, people underestimate the power of a hello, how are you, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be game from the door because here's the thing. So many people are on game that just a hello, how are you now? Folk are like, oh. Mm -hmm. That's refreshing. Right, like, I'm well, how are you, right? So I just say, come with your genuine self, be respectful. And uh, if you think she's a quality woman or he's a quality guy, just just start with the basics and see what happens. Okay, all right. I hope y'all listening, people, because, you know, you sliding in them DMs the wrong way. It's not going to work out for you. Right. <laughs> all right, Bevy shot me this question. Uh, she wanted to know about marital expectations. We saw before marriages would last longer. Now with the advent of social media, well, and then the generation right after that, marriages were 10 minutes now we're talking about the advent of social media. It looks like a lot of people are pushing toward these relationships and putting everything online. Do you see a trend with uh, marriages staying or or more breakups now? You know, COVID did a lot, right? Because, yeah. yeah. you, you know, we could really escape and do some things to help us not be able to communicate and help us not do some of the things we knew needed to be done. And I think, right, I think we are still trying to pull the data on what happened to marriages in COVID. There was a group of folks that were like, you know what, we're in here. So it's got to be us against the world. Because if not, it's me against you. And and this is too small of a space for Mm -hmm. us to be at at war and in battle. Mm -hmm. Those couples were winning. And they still are because they found an alliance with each other. And they said, if, if everything out there is going crazy, we got to find some peace in here. Mm-hmm. But those couples that still wanted to hold on to avoidance, it, it's, it's still very difficult for them because you, there is nowhere to escape to in a pandemic. You have got to find some tools and deal with your circumstance so you can keep thriving beyond it. Or the minute many cities opened up, people were really talking about, okay, so what does it look like to divorce? Yeah. Yeah. You're right. So I I see it's it's almost like a 50 50 split right now. But till that data comes out, we won't really know. Yeah. But I will say this, what they're seeing in the trends is those couples that really were like, we're going to align with each other. And it's you and me. I'm wearing the yellow jersey. You wearing the yellow jersey. We're Team Reese. Those couples are trending in a positive direction. Yeah. And and they're winning. Yeah, I can see that. So shout out to those finding solutions instead of creating problems. Woohoo! Love okay. that. Thank you so much. Dr. Cole, let me hit this hype bell for you one more time. Baby's over there clapping. We're going to bring her on in a second when we get back to the main show. We want to thank you for coming on. We always do a thing called Reese's Peace of Mind or Pops Knows Best. I know you're familiar with. And once again, I've stolen from you. So I just want you to (laughs) know that I've taken this quote from you as we want to leave our audience with this before we go. Uh, And this kind of goes to what you just said. When you're always right in a relationship, you are always wrong. Pretty much. Yeah. So thank you for sharing that uh, on your social media with people. I want everybody to follow her online right now. Tell them where to follow you at. Ask Dr. Nicole and Sister Diamonds LLC will connect you with us on the gram and all of our social media handles. And check us out at Heart of the Matter Conversations. Get your seat 
It is happening virtually September 18th and 19th. You will get some tools. Trust me, you will not leave disappointed. And you'll be surprised how much fun you have in the process. 18th is for singles. September 19th is for couples. So come hang out with us. There you go. And if you don't know if you're in a real relationship, just register for both days. You're fine. You'll be all right. (laughs) All right, y'all. Thank you so much. (laughs) We appreciate you for jumping on with us. We're going to let you get back to saving the world. And then we'll be back. We're going to get into this mix right now on the Reshow Live. And we will be back in a few minutes. Bevy's going to jump in, teach me some Spanglish. And then we got to talk about this hit movie that just hit, Suicide Squad, and why you need to go see it. Do not move. This is the Reshow Live.